So this claims honey forms a honeycomb pattern in water because of memory. This is how you test your honey to see if it really came from bees. Add a little bit of water, swish the water back and forth and start to see the honeycomb pattern. They call that memory. What memory? Honey doesn't remember anything. It's just viscous, meaning it's thick and sticky. When you've got a heavy viscous fluid like honey underneath a lighter one like water and you move it back and forth, tiny peaks and valleys form where the two fluids slide against each other. But why do you get hexagons? If you push the water just one way, you'll get stripes like waves on a beach. Push it two directions, you get squares. But if you jiggle it around randomly in all directions, the pattern with the most symmetry and the lowest energy is a hexagon. But why not circles if they're meant to have the lowest energy? You see, circles can't pack together without leaving gaps. Hexagons are basically the closest thing to circles that pack together like tiles. So no, honey doesn't have genetic memory. That's like saying your couch has memory.